Welcome back to Ash Score Reviews. Today we're having a look at the Mezco Reservoir Dogs. This is Mr. Orange, and the packaging on here is really nice. Uh, the features are 20 points of attitude articulation, authentic movie accessories, alternate hands, street base, and bonus bonus disc base. Street boys, oh, street base is linked together to form the infamous walking scene. And you can see the figure here, and these are sculpted bullet holes, and they also have them back there, so when you line them up, it kind of looks really cool. Sunglasses, his police badge, and a gun. There's the other stand, and I think that you can see the stand right here. Kind of. Top here says, four perfect strangers, one perfect crime. And it has that, and the original price was $12.99. KB Toys. You can see the walking scene right there. The back of this has Mr. Blonde, Mr. Pink, Mr. Orange, and Mr. White. They all have pretty nice uh, likenesses to the uh, actors. Mr. Orange, Mr. White, and Mr. Pink really does too, and so does uh, right there, Mr. Blonde. They were, and you can just read that part in yourself. And you also get the poster there for Reservoir Dogs. It says, look for Reservoir Dogs, 10-year anniversary special edition D coming in January 2002. From the director, Quentin Tarantino. So we'll have a look at this figure. It would open out of its package. I would like to uh, also have the other versions, or the other uh, figures, like Mr. Blonde, Mr. White, Mr. Pink. Uh, and I also know that NECA did some of these figures, and I think those might have had maybe more articulation, I'm not for sure, but the Mezco ones had a l and this is the only Mezco figure I have, I think. Well, no, I got the Chucky. That's it. Also, this figure comes with a little Reservoir Dogs instructions, so that's what all the figures look like lined up. Pretty cool. And then just some accessories of each one, a lighter for that, and the bag and everything. Mr. Orange comes with some accessories here. These are the hands he comes packaged with. Uh, just decided to put the other hands on. He, these hands are like sculpted out of that dark color and then they're painted with this so they get in the crevices. Right, I'm figuring that was the whole point there. And the, These are just like the relaxed hands. Comes with a circular base which is not very helpful but it does help him stand a little bit. And he comes with the police blood badge. Police badge. Get a nice zoom on this. It's just black, silver, and yellow and blue. And uh, it's opened because the flap would be over that. Or I'm thinking that's how that works. Basically, comes with here has a texture as if it's concrete. You can kind of see that there. It's also got a little peg, and these side pieces also have pegs to plug into the other. Uh, figures so you can create the walking scene. So here's Mr. Orange. Now, um, if you've never seen the movie, uh, that's what the movie is, so go look that up or watch it or something. And I'm going to tell you why he comes with a police badge. And the reason I don't really like that, I mean, he is my favorite character out of the whole thing because he's kind of different than everybody. Uh, and this just happened to be a figure I found, and it led me to these other. Oh no! Led me to these other movies. Here are the glasses, they're removable. If you can kind of, if I can focus them, I do not think I can. They might focus better if they were on his face. So here's what the head sculpt looks like of Tim Roth. I'd say it's okay, it's fine. It's like kind of shiny with some brown in there to make it kind of look more like hair. It's not perfect, it's got kind of a lean this way. Back of it's generally short too. It's just a like a suit with a slit in the back, and the shoes here are glossy. Everything's sculpted kind of uh, funky, white. Here's the other hand, which comes with the ring that he puts on during one of the scenes, and here is his pistol, which is just black. And I don't really like that he comes with a gun because he's a cop and he's not on the floor bleeding to death. I think they did have a version of that, but this is not that. So I don't really like him having the gun. Because I don't think he really even uses the gun. Well, maybe he does in that uh, picture over there, in that corner right there. Maybe he does. But uh, the articulation 
on this figure is uh, the head can swivel and it's not even at a perfect swivel due to the suit uh, the tuxedo the belt everything the wrinkles are kind of faint they're not too strong but it does swivel but it's kind of at that weird angle so you really can't do anything with it when you're turning it he kind of looks up a little bit the arms here for the articulation accessories out of the way you can see here if you kind of slide this piece they're kind of like attached like this so you can kind of swivel it this way or this way again so that's kind of useful but it does look kind of funky on here it looks like shoulder pads but it is a suit so i don't know and his arms do go up in a full 360 that's it though and they have a cut right there so you can turn and the arm is on pegs so they just pop in and that's it same with this arm too as well and the legs down here i think yeah there's a swivel right here below the thing right there above the belt so it swivels and this is kind of a harder plastic as this but i think it's just that's why there's not a cut right there i guess it might help it cut and this do swivel out but it doesn't look good at all and these also have a these are, there's a double swivel here so you can bend the knee swivel this and swivel this at the same time so you can, there's a lot of articulation here i guess we can work with it fine might look okay sitting on a bench or something but that's i don't think he ever really does that he's mr orange you hardly ever see him like this in the movie except when he's walking and that's it Thank you for watching At School Reviews. Today we were having a look at the Mezco Mr. Orange Reservoir Dogs figure. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.